The Penn State Nittany Lions did not defend their Big Ten championship in 2017, but they still had a very impressive season and continued to show that they're one of the top teams in college football, not to mention in their own conference. They do have some advantages in trying to exceed their 2018 regular season win total, but their pursuit of another big year will not be that simple. The Nittany Lions didn't have a completely successful season, but it was not entirely disappointing either. Penn State beat Michigan and won all of its non-conference games, capped by a strong Fiesta Bowl victory over Washington. However, the team lost its two biggest games of the season, at Ohio State and at Michigan State, by narrow margins. The loss to Ohio State was especially heartbreaking, given that the Nittany Lions lost a big lead and collapsed in the fourth quarter. Penn State's offensive line was outplayed by Ohio State's defensive line, and the Penn State defense was not able to stand tall in the latter stages of that contest. Penn State ended the regular season as one of the top teams in the country, but it once again missed the college football playoff. The loss to Ohio State was hard to shake, despite their other successes. The Nittany Lions have recruited extremely well and have locked up a top-tier class once again, with Coach Franklin being one of the best recruiters in the country. However, a number of very important pieces will no longer be in place in State College, Pennsylvania. One is Saquon Barkley, the electric running back and kick returner who gave this team so many clutch performances plus the run-pass balance any good offense needs. Barkley was explosive and versatile, a dangerous combination for opponents. Someone with his depth and diversity of skill will not be easy to replace. Another important player who will not return is tight end Mike Gesicki, who was much more of a pass-catching tight end than a blocking tight end. Gesicki was excellent at winning balls in the air at the catch point. He would box out and fend off defenders to get high-arcing passes thrown by quarterback Trace McSorley. McSorley returns for one more season, which is great for Penn State, but no Barkley and no Gesicki could limit PSU's offense. The greatest loss might be on the coaching staff, however. Joe Moorhead came in and rescued this offense the past two seasons. He built McSorley into an elite college quarterback and got the most out of Barkley's skills as offensive coordinator. He took the head coaching position at Mississippi State, forcing coach James Franklin to hire a new offensive coordinator. Penn State needs continuity on offense, and a drop-off in production this season could be catastrophic for the team's chances. The Penn State Nittany Lions get Ohio State and Michigan State at home this year. Last year, both games were on the road. Michigan moves from a home game to a road game, but the Wolverines might not be ready to take advantage. When all is said and done, Penn State very probably looks like a 10-2 team, with enough talent to win a lot of games, but enough important losses, especially with Moorhead, to create a few losses along the way. Expect 10 wins, but not anymore. Just enough to go over on their win total. Click over now to betdsi.eu to check out all the NCAA sporting odds on the board, along with a slew of fun and exciting prop bets on your favorite players and teams. Take advantage of getting double your money if you open an account today with a 100% deposit bonus. Join the action with a few fun wagers because it's only a game until you bet it.